In less than 30 minutes, a subcommittee of the Senate Committee on Finance approved the proposed 10.7 billion peso budget for the Office of the President or OP for 2024. Aside from Senator Sonny Angara, who presided the budget hearing, being the chairperson of the Senate panel, no other senators attended the hearing and asked questions. Executive Secretary Lucas Bersamin says part of the budget adjustments is for logistical requirements for the president's travel abroad. The office is also requesting for funding for infrastructure works inside the palace complex that were disrupted by the pandemic. Let me just point out that we crafted this budget within the parameters and processes set by the DBM from which we sought no special treatment. Included in the 10.7 billion peso budget request of the president's office are confidential expenses amounting to 2.2 billion pesos, extraordinary and miscellaneous expenses with 23.8 million pesos, and intelligence expenses amounting to 2.3 billion pesos. But for Senate Minority Leader Aquilino Coco Pimentel, the confidential funds of the president should be reduced, while the intelligence funds should be removed. The lawmaker maintains that the OP is a civilian agency which should not be engaged in intelligence gathering, considering the workload of the president's office. Pimentel remains firm that the surveillance work should be left to intelligence experts unless, he says, the people in the president's office have too much time on their hands. Pimentel was not present during the OP's budget hearing. But Angara sees nothing wrong with the president's request for secret funds and intelligence funds. President, gusto ba nadpilayan yung president? Kung sinabi niyang kailangan niya, meron siyang alam na hindi natin alam. He adds, based on the report submitted by the President's office to the Select Oversight Committee on Confidential Intelligence Funds, or CIFs, the OP's use of CIFs was accounted for. Tiling na namin, uh, very detailed naman yung, yung sa OP, yeah, na, nakalagay dun yung mga pinaggastusan. Uh, in fact, may mga, pa, may mga pangalan pa nga nung mga binigyan eh, uh -huh. ng, ng uh, sort of like a reward or incentive. Oh. Angara notes that senators can still scrutinize the OP's proposed budget once it reaches the plenary. The Senate will begin its plenary debates on the proposed 2024 national budget in November when session of both chambers of Congress resumes. Jorilin Delgado, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.